Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome, welcome to our Wednesday live. How is everybody's day today, guys? This is our Wednesday live. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun questions. Guys, what's going on? Who's here? Let's see. We'll see who's here first. Lobo is here first. Fidget Poppets, there you are. We'll see who comes up on the YouTube first. I don't see anybody yet. Oh, there we are. Surendra's here. Gav, what's up, buddy? Haven't seen you in forever. How are you? Surendra, number one. Gav, number two. I hope you're staying, buddy. I know you're a smart guy, just like everybody else here. Today, we got some fun questions. You're on YouTube. I see you there. Chunky, chunky, what's going up? Uh, Gav, how have you been? Where are you at, buddy, now? My medical terminology class. Oh, there you go. Perfect timing. Yes, medical term. This is going to be easy, easy and fun, but there are some questions that could be a little harder, so... Pokey, why ain't you verified? I don't know. Tell me. Tell me why am I not verified. I wish I was. That would be awesome. Maybe one day. Maybe one day, Fidget. Thank you, though. Uh, Total Drama. What's up, Total Drama? Who else is here? Total Drama is here. Oh, Sarah, I didn't see you there. What's up, Sarah? Welcome, Sarah. How was your day today? How was everybody else's day today, guys? Uh, who's that? Uh, Lara Engel. Lara Engel. Why do I remember that name? That sound? Yes, I'm literally right before you said remembering me. I'm like, wait, that like totally rings a bell for some reason. So that's awesome. Surendra, Sarah, hi. Uh, Joe Moon. It's been okay. Good. Okay, I'll take okay as an okay. I know okay doesn't sound great, but okay is better than bad, right? I guess. Joe Moon, what's up, buddy? Thank you for coming back. So we got some fun, some fun questions today. I know Sarah, you requested this, but I think we'll make it fun for everybody. So this is, uh, I did some research a little earlier. So this is our anatomy, body, and and fun, fun trivia. So it's gonna be fun. It'll be some fun trivia. So how else is everybody's day? We'll wait till we get about ten people here or so, and then we'll get started. And those of you guys on TikTok, if you want to play our game, guys, I gotta go because I got school. No worries. I understand, Laura. Thank you for coming in and popping in and say hi. I really, really appreciate that. Um, if you get a chance, come on over, um, fidget, you're good. That's awesome. That's awesome too. So we'll wait, we'll wait till we get some people. Um, and then we will get started here. We've only got two people. Oh man, everybody came and then they all left. So that's okay. That's all right. People have things to do. No worries. Everything's all good. So we'll get some people. We'll have a fun game. Uh, how many people do we have on our list there? We got like eight people on our list already. I'm still saying, but going back to the doctor, Oh, wish you all the best, Sarah. I hope everything goes good. Hope everything goes good at the doctor. Uh, you got burnt yesterday. Oh, what do you mean by that? Like as in sunburn or got burnt? Oh, wow. You must be in a, in a warm place. Pretty face. What's up? Astrea is rainbow. What's up guys? We're going to have some fun questions here. Bacon is here. What's up, bacon? Bacon is number six. Welcome bacon. Gav, I have a test tomorrow. Can we do muscular? We're going to do all kinds of fun questions. I got some good ones. I think you'll be good at this. So especially since there's only two of you here right now. So everybody seems like they come in say hi and then they leave. So I don't know why, why it's like that, but that's okay. The less people though, those of you guys that are here will make it work for you guys. So Estrella, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. See human body category helps Helps. Well, it doesn't help. It's like scaring everybody. We have like eight people here on the list already, and we're only down to two. So people are coming in, seeing what it's about, and then they're all leaving. So we'll see what happens. But those of you that are here, it gets more chances for you guys to get a lot of points today. So that's okay. Are you going to draw? No, we're not doing any drawing live right now. Not doing any drawing right now. So uh, I see four connecting. Okay. On mine, it says two, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, I know it's a little earlier. Usually when we do it, like I can't do it today at five because I got to be done and like upstairs by 530. Um, but I've, I found that if we do it a little bit later, especially for those people that are in the United States on the uh, thank you so much, Fidget, for sending those taps, especially those people that are on the West Coast. Uh, it's only like two in the afternoon. So some people are still like at work and school and all that good stuff. So. I haven't learned about human. It's going to be easy. It's not like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have used the word anatomy because that throws people off. Like it's going to be super hard. Like that's like a, a college course or something. It's going to be easy. So you know what? For those that are here, now we got one person. Oh, my God. In a second, everybody's going to leave. And then at that point, I'll leave. And we'll just stay on TikTok. We got like 20 people on TikTok. So everybody's scared of the of the YouTube today. What is going on? I don't know what. <coughs> Your drawings are awesome. Thank you, Estrella, so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much terminology. Okay. That's it. All right. Let's get started guys. Those of you that are here, it wouldn't be fair if we wait much longer. Let's, well, you know what? Let me give it like 20 more seconds. That way, that way we'll start right at, uh, right at five minutes going. So a lot of people are here. Wow. That's weird. On mine, it, it, there's like six of you guys talking and on my like counter here, it says that there's one person here. Wow. Maybe it must be a glitch. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. All right. Let's get started guys. 
first question. We're going to make it nice and easy, okay? Nice and easy. All right, nice and easy. What is the strongest muscle in the body? Strongest muscle in your body. What do you guys think? Strongest muscle in your body. What do you think? Roll call. Show yourself. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe the lag. That's all right. Not going to worry about that. All right, Jessica got it here. Correct. Jessica Madding, I'm going to put your name down because we're going to play today from TikTok and YouTube because uh, it seems like a lot of people are not here. Estrella says heart. What about you guys here? I'm seeing some people saying hearts. Some people are saying bacon says he doesn't know. You can just guess. A lot of these are going to be super easy. So trust me, just guess. Just take like what I think what do they call like an educated guess where you're kind of not sure. But some people are saying tongue. Some people are saying heart. Abs. Oh, abs is a good one. No, believe it or not, guys, the answer is your tongue. Yes, chunky, chunky. Can you say hi, Annie? What's up, Ann or Annie? Yes, your tongue. So let's give it to the first two people. So Sarah and <coughs> Sarah and Surendra. All right, guys, how about this one? Let's do a bonus. Let's do a bonus for two people. Bonus for two people. First two people. Bacon, what are you doing over here on TikTok? First two people to give me the tongue emoji. First two people tongue emoji. Victoria, what's going on, Victoria? Victoria, number 10 coming in here. I hope everything worked. Um, I remember the other day you couldn't get on or something. So I hope everything you were able to get on. I use it all the time. Yeah, I think I think most of us, that's that's what gets people into trouble nowadays is using too much of that strong muscle, right? What, what, what do they say? I once I once heard a really cool saying that says, hold on, how did it go? That's why that's why God gave us two ears and one mouth, right? So we could do twice as twice the amount of listening as we do talking. Or I guess you can say two ears and one tongue too. So Gemini Amber. Oh, that's so cool. Such a cool name. What's up, Gemini Amber? Uh, all right, guys. First two people to give me the tongue emoji. We got Victoria and Sarah. Victoria and Sarah. All right, guys. That was a good question. That was good. It was a good start. Good, easy start. I told you guys it's going to be easy. All right, guys. So speaking of the strongest, yeah, is that what I said? Strongest muscle in your body. How about this question? What is the largest organ of your body? What is the largest organ? <laughs> Those of you on TikTok, what do you guys think? Donna, what's up, guys? What do you guys think? What do you think is the largest organ of your body? This is actually kind of funny because I actually heard this before. Um, the answer to this, I knew this before. I, I took this from like a like an anatomy class thing or whatever, but I have heard this one before. And honestly, I'm still confused. Like, how is it? Like a lot of you guys are getting the answer correct. It is your skin. How is your skin an organ, right? You would think like, like your answers that you guys said, like your liver and your heart or your muscles, your intestines, those are all great answers, but your skin, right? That's kind of weird. But that is the correct answer. Believe it or not, skin is the correct answer. Okay, let's see who got it. Okay, let it scroll up. There we go. All right, uh, we got Victoria and Gav. See, Gav is the uh, expert, uh, almost a doctor. Gav's almost a doctor. Gav and Victoria. All right, we got that. All right, anybody else knew? Nobody else came in. Total drama. Your kidney. That's a good answer. Kidneys is cool because they secrete sweat. Okay, that makes sense. That that's a good way. Thanks for. I was gonna say, can somebody explain it to me? All right, guys, here's the next question. Here's the next question. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. So here's what I'll do. There's only like six of you guys here, so this should be super easy. Um, I'm going to give a question. The answer is very specific. So we'll give this question after I say it. We'll give it like a minute, okay? We'll give it a minute. And then in that minute, I'm going to hit the word end and then look at all of your answers. And, and the first two people that get it exactly, like to the exact number, we'll get two points each. So two people, two points each. And then if nobody gets that, nobody gets it exactly, then we'll still give it to two people, but we'll see who's the closest, okay? So let me let me write it down. So this is what it's going to be. Okay, point is getting is the joining point. No, Bacon, you're going to get more. Don't worry. Bacon, I got you. Don't worry. I ain't getting no points. We just started. We only had like three questions. Okay, let me let me write it here first of uh-huh is uh-huh okay all right that's the question how much percent of the human body is water what do you guys think those of you guys who haven't hit the like yet please do me a favor hit that like button all right guys how many 
percent. How much percent? Oh, let me look at the time. Okay, it's right at 10. So right at 11 minutes. So we got one minute, one minute on this one. Like I said, we'll give it to the first two people. They get it exactly to the exact percent. You can guess. It's obviously your answer would be what? Between one and like 99, right? Between one and 99 is the answer. So I guess take, take, take a guess. We'll see who gets it correctly. First two people to get it exactly. Okay, we got 50. We got 65. Good answers. Good answers. Very good. Very close. Cool mommy. What's up, cool mommy? I got more 60s. I got 77. I got 90, 70. Great answers. I'm not going to tell you guys if one of those is correct or not because I don't want to give you guys any clues. But the first two people, they get it exactly, exactly, exactly. We'll get two points each. And if nobody gets it exactly, then we'll give it to two people, whoever's the closest. So, all right, we got uh, 10 more seconds on that one. 10 more seconds. I'm going to write end of body cue regarding water. Now hit enter. As soon as I hit enter, there's no answers below my line that count. Okay. And boom, that's 11 right there. All right. The answer is 66%. 66. I saw somebody said 65 here on TikTok. I think it was something mommy. Uh, you you would have got that. If you got to come over to my YouTube guys, those of you who are on TikTok, come over to YouTube. You'll be getting points for all these. All right. 66 is the answer. Let's see. First of all, if there's any 66s, 82, 70, 80, 70, 90, 90, 85, 90, 90, 99, 60, 60, 2, 73, 60, 77, 70, 75, 100, obviously 100. <coughs> April B, let me put you down. April B, hold on, I'll scroll guys in a second. 60, okay, so there's no 66s. Uh, I think I saw a 70 because that would have been four points away, right? I think I saw a 70. Uh, or was there a 69? There's a 60. <clears throat> so 70 would be the closest then. So 70s would be closest. First two 70s. Total drama and bacon. There you go, bacon. You said you didn't get it. Cool, mommy. Yeah, you got it. Total drama and bacon. See, bacon? Thought you're not going to get any points. There you go. Bacon said 66. I know, but look. Oh, my goodness, bacon. I hate doing this to you, buddy. Remember how you always talk about how you're always like one point away. You're so close. Notice what it says right above Bacon uh, Gamer Shane 66. That is where I said end, remember? Because I did it for one minute. So I said the only thing that's going to count is all of the numbers from the when I started to end it. Oh, my goodness. Bacon, you probably pushed enter like a thousandth of a second right after I did. So you were off by one second. But you still got one point, though. You still got one point. You would have got two, but you still got one. So you were at 75. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah, rip Bacon, somebody said. That's okay. Bacon did say it, but it's right after. It's before. No, it's after on mine, guys. It's right after on mine. I'll show you guys. I'm going to show you so you guys don't think I'm lying. Oh, my goodness. It's my screen that counts, guys. I will show you that it's after. Hold on. Here it is, guys. Check it out. I will show you that it's, right, it's literally right after. Look. There's there's the one that says, hold on. Let me, we're not going to see. There's the one that says Pokey Gems, and right after is Bacon 66. Literally right after, so... We got to go with what's on my screen, but it's all good. That's fun. It's all good. <coughs> all right, guys. I just want, I know I want bacon to win too. Of course I want bacon. I want everybody to win, but we got the, the rules are the rules. Okay. I like the way we did that though. We'll do more like that. I've got a couple other ones. All right, guys. This is a cool one too. You guys are going to love this question. This is kind of a cool question. Now, let me explain it really quickly. That's my luck. No, you've still got one. Okay. Let me explain it before you start spamming. Okay. So I'm going to explain the question. All right. The answer to this question, okay, the answer to this question, I want in a food emoji. Now, don't start doing any food emojis yet. Let me explain the question. The answer is going to be in a food emoji, okay? So here's the question. The smallest bone in your body is about the size of this food and do it in a food emoji. The smallest bone in your body is about the size of this food. And give it to me in a food emoji, okay? What do you guys think? The smallest bone in your body. These are kind of cool questions. You guys are going to learn some stuff today in a very cool, cool, fun way. Like when I was making up these, not making them up, but writing these down from this like thing I found on Google. I'm like, wow, that's actually kind of cool. Like this one. All right, Fidget said a peanut. That's actually a really good answer. Uh, it's good. It's not the correct answer, but that is a very good answer. A cow or a cow? Total drama. A cow? A smallest bone in your body. Well, think about it. Like, in your finger right here, right? There's the tip of my finger. So there's a bone already right there, but that might not be the smallest. So at least it's probably smaller than that. Think about it. Think about it. 
Chunky Chunky got it over here. Chunky, I'm going to put you down because you got it over here on the TikTok. Chunky got it. Let me see. Make sure there's nobody before you. All right, Chunky, I'm giving it to you, but you got to come over to my YouTube if you want to keep playing. But Chunky, I gave you a point there. Joe Moon, what a great answer. That is not the correct answer, but that is an awesome answer. He said salt, like a salt shaker, like a grain of salt. I'll tell you guys this much. He's not very far off. It's not the correct answer, but I'm going to give you a clue. He's not very far off. Sarah said a blueberry. That's pretty good. I'll give you guys a clue. It's smaller than that. It's smaller than that. <clears throat> All right. Let's see who got it. Okay, so let's go over this. Uh, kiwi, no. Strawberry, no. Pepper, cow. The answer, guys, is a grain of rice. A grain of rice. Is that right? Yes, I got it here. A grain of rice. I'm going to write down rice here. And before I find it, as I find the answer, I'm going to give you a bonus question, guys, to this. Bonus question, okay? First person, I'm going to give it to one person getting two points. I'm going to look at the answers in a second, but give me a second, guys. The bonus question is, okay, so we said the first one. Yeah, I see you, Surendra. You said that. I'm going to get to that in a second, but let me just ask the bonus question. We did say that the smallest bone in your body is the size of a grain of rice. So here's the bonus question. Where on your body would you find that? Where? You could either give me the emoji. Like where? Is it in your fingers? Is it in your toes? Is it in your head? Wherever. Tell me where is that smallest bone in your body? On which part of your body? Uh, hip twins, I see you there. I see uh, some people that came in. I'm going to put you down, Nicola. I got you there, Nicola. And then let me go up and find my first two rices. My first two. And I know, Surendra, you said rice emoji because yeah, you don't have the emojis. So Surendra was first. Where's my second rice? And Victoria had the bowl of rice. Chunky, chunky, you got it. Chunky, chunky, you've got to come over. Tiana Faye, what's up? Please come over to my YouTube channel. I am literally live as we speak on YouTube. So chunky, chunky, you would have gotten like six points already. That's all you need to do is just log out of TikTok, come over to YouTube, boom, I put you down, and you start accruing all these points. And Victoria was the second one there. All right, what do you guys think here? What do you guys think? That's a well, that's what they say. That hey, I can only go off of whatever information I found here. I'm assuming it's correct. It seems like a pretty, pretty legit website. So, all right, let's see. Uh, on your ear is the answer, yes, in your ear or not on your ear, but in your ear. That's the smallest bone of your body is found in your ear. <clears throat> I got you there, Gav. Oh, the on the ear, yes, and bacon. So, Gav and bacon got the, the bonus question. Yes, Gavin Bacon. All right, that was cool. That was a cool question, right? You guys got to admit, that was a pretty cool question. All right, we did that. We did that one. We did the ear. Okay, we did that one. Okay. All right, first two people, first two people to give me, I asked his question before he said it. I asked, Oh, you asked the question? Um, here's the next question, guys. First two people to give me, I know we did this already, but let's do it again. The tongue emoji. First two tongue emojis, guys. And do me a favor, those of you who have not hit like yet, guys, please hit that like. Let's get those likes to match. Hey, Pokey, much greetings and love from Kenya. What's up, Nash? I remember you. Nash, you are number 24. Welcome back from Kenya. First two people, guys, to give me the tongue emoji. Chunky again. Chunky, this is like the fourth point you're missing. All you need to do is come on over to the, to the uh, YouTube channel. Gustavo, Gustavo OVG 2011. Thank you for all the likes. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. My first two tongue emojis are Victoria and Total Drama. I'm going to give it to you, Total Drama. I didn't specify that it could be one tongue or two. I just said tongue emoji. Uh, MGC Pyro, what's up? Victoria and Total Drama. All right, guys, and here is the uh, Hip Twins, what is the dinosaur all about? Not sure. All right, here's the next question, guys. Here's the next question. Obviously having something to do with your tongue, and we're going to do this one again. It's going to be one of those one-minute videos, okay? I'm going to ask a question about your tongue, very specific question. First two people, if you get it exactly on the dot, the correct answer, I'll give it up to two people, two points each. Nobody gets it on the dot. We'll see who's closest, and we'll give two people one point. So kind of the same thing as we did with the rice question. The question is, the question is, where is it? Let me write it down here so that we can go one minute. All right, there we go. Okay, we're going to go to 2035. How many taste buds are on your tongue? 
I don't want to begin a trivia, so I'm going to stay here. You can stay there for fun, for sure. I just want you to be able to win, because if you win, if you get your name on the board, you can get your name on that big board there. We just gave away a $50 gift card just the other day, so I want you to be able to get that. <coughs> Gio, did I see you there? Gio the Hedge King, I think I saw it said uh, join, so welcome. Gio, come on over to the YouTube channel. We're about halfway, no, a little bit less than halfway. I see you there, Gio. Gio, come on over to YouTube channel. The question is, all right, we got 30 more seconds to go on this question. We'll see who's closest. How many taste buds are on your tongue? Okay, we got 1,800, 10,000. 10,000 says Chunky. What are the answers we got here? 1,200, 500. And we are going to, guys, just, just to make it clear, I know somebody's going to say in a second, I guarantee you in a second we're going to get a question where it's going to say, Pokey, I just looked it up or I just called Google or I called Siri or whatever you need to do to Siri, and, and she said something different. We're going to go with the answers that are on my piece of paper. It is what it is, guys. I think this is correct. This is from a pretty reputable source. If it's a little bit different, tough. It is what it is. We're going with what's on my paper. From Germany, Viva Deutschland. Abit Kinchi. Wo wohnst du ins Deutschland? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see who's going to get it. All right. Time is up. End time, I'm going to say. All right, the answer, by the way, guys, was 9,000. So let's see if anybody got it on the dot. Looking for 9,000s first, and then we'll go to see who's closer. A million taste buds replaced every two weeks. 19. Nobody got 9,000. So 9,000, will. nobody will be getting the two points. But let's see if anybody got, I think 10,000 is the closest. Actually, Bacon, you're closer with 9,999. That's closer by one than 10,000. How did you come up with that, Bacon? Like ninety nine ninety nine. Oh my goodness, that's that's genius, by the way, because that's what gave you the points. Bacon got that first one, and then next would be ten thousand, and my first ten thousand is Victoria. Yeah, the actual answer. You got it totally, Rosie. But you got to come to my YouTube channel. Come on over to Pokey Gems on YouTube, and it'll, you'll be getting all these points on the list here. Me drawing Gav and Sarah. Uh, yes, bacon gets it again. Nice. <clears throat> why do people say 9,000 after they review? You know what? I don't know. People always do that. I don't know why, but people always do that. When I say the answer, then they say it. I don't know. It's, it always happens, but that's okay. Maybe they just want to make sure that they know it. Largest organ. We got this. Okay. Here's the next one. Another cool question, guys. Another cool question. What you can do this in a, uh, words or emoji. Okay. Words or emoji. Um, what is considered to be the hardest substance in your, well, I should, say, I should say on, on or in your body, the hardest substance of the human body. How about that? Hardest substance of the human body. Hardest substance of the human body. No, not the hardest substance in the world. Yes, that is true. Diamond is, but the di there's not many diamonds in the human body. Uh, I'm I'll do the stop thing on TikTok. If you'd like, sure. That's fine. I appreciate that. Your skull. Skull's a good answer. Skull, bone is a good answer. All really good answers. Let's see who gets it, though. Your heart. No, your heart's not very hard. Your rib cage. Oh, another good one. Skin is good. Joe Moon says bones. Total Drama says teeth. What do you guys think? Which, uh, Fidget Poppet says teeth there. Let's see, guys. We'll see. Let's give it like a 30 more seconds. Let's see what the answer is. Yeah, the question for those of you just joining is, what is the hardest substance of the human body? All right, guys, the answer is your teeth. Yes, technically your teeth is a bone, but I guess the, the teeth are even harder than like the regular bones. Yes, teeth enamel, Bethel Bella. That is the exact answer. Actually, to be super specific, it is enamel. Actually, yes. I'm going to go with teeth, but let's see if anybody said enamel. Uh, or Joe Moon actually said enamel. I'm looking at it right here. Joe Moon actually. So technically, enamel is the super correct answer. So we're going to give it to Joe Moon here, and then I'll give it to uh, two people who said teeth. But Joe Moon, that is the super correct answer. Uh, your teeth is, let's see. Uh, let's see. That's Nicola. And who was my other teeth? Iron, diamond, bone, bone, heart, oh, bone, teeth, Surendra. All right, guys, here's the next question. Here is the next question. And again, I'm going to do it the exact same format. I'm going to do a couple of these today because this is kind of <coughs> kind of a cool format. Bethel, you're sad. Why? What happened? Let's see if we can get you happy. All right, guys, so we're going to do the same thing. 
Um, hardest, not the strongest. Yeah, true. Um, let's do this, guys. I'm going to ask another question. The answer is a very specific number. Random, what's up, random? The answer is a very specific number. And again, if there's anybody in that minute time frame that gets it exactly, we'll give two people two points each, and otherwise we'll do two people one point each, whoever's the closest. The question is, let me just find it right here. Let me write it. How many bones are in the adult human body? Genesis 5, 6, 8, 7. Hello, hello. Yes, that's the next question, guys. How many bones are in the adult human body? And I think the key word there is adult, actually, because uh, on here it says adult, too. I'm assuming because maybe when you're born, you have less and then you grow more or something like that. But uh, let's see what we got. 14, 207, 765. 216, 206, 102. Oh, lots of different questions. 282, 765. Another good answer. 282 is another good. Let's give it a minute, guys, and then we'll end it. Like I said, if anybody gets it on the dot, exactly how many there is, we're going to give two people two points each. We'll see how who gets it. 55, 282. Lots of really good answers. I see a couple correct ones, so we'll give it. Uh, we got 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds, and we'll see who's, who's going to get it exactly. 30 more seconds, guys, over here. How about those of you guys on TikTok? By the way, as we wait the 30 seconds, Pekin says like one quadrillion. No, that's the national debt of the United States, not how many bones. All right, the uh, those of you guys on TikTok, if you want to play officially, get on my list. You need to come over right now as we speak. We are live on the uh, YouTube channel. All right, bones and Q. All right, the answer is, the answer is 206, 206. Thank you, Fidget, for that. 206 is the answer. Bacon gets it right exactly. Not only were you first, you got it correct, and you got it exactly. Yes, exactly. Anything below that doesn't count exactly. But like I said, but those of you guys who are on TikTok, you got to come to YouTube, though. So Bacon gets two points for that one. See, look at you, Bacon, saying you're not getting anything. You've just got like six points in the last like 10 minutes. And then my second 206 was, let's see, 102, 216, 226, 216. 206 was Sarah. So Sarah gets two points also. Sarah gets two points also. 206 was the correct answer. <coughs> oh, I I got depth and bones confused. That's okay. Well, you got it correct. Oh, I see. Oh, the national debt. I see what you mean. All right. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. How about this one? Let's do this one, guys. This is this is going to be kind of a little bit confusing. All right. A little bit con not confusing, but let's see if you guys know. How many lungs does a human have? How many lungs does a human have? That's the question. I'll repeat that so you don't make a mistake on who wins. Uh, how many lungs does a human have, guys? What do you think? What do you think is the answer? This is this is this might be a little confusing, but let's see. Okay, Bethel said two, user said two, MGC said four. Four is a good answer. Two is a good answer. Okay, Victoria said three. Call me weirdo. Caroline, hello. How many is there, guys? What do you think? Joseph Busso. Joseph, you're new here, so let me put you down. Joseph, welcome. You get one entry just for coming, and then as you answer them correctly. And do me a favor, don't spam, Joseph. Don't spam. I feel like this is a trick question. Gav, I think you feel correct. Yes, it's, I don't know, you guys didn't think, you, you guys overthought it. Yes, two, of course, two. One on one side of your body, one on the other. Two, yes. I don't know, I, I, I made it sound like it's confusing, but there's nothing confusing about it. And then you, you're from TikTok. Okay, Joseph, who are you from TikTok? Just so I know who we're talking to. I put you down here as Joseph B. Let me write the B down, just in case we get another B. But what was your name from the TikTok? So you made me doubt myself. That's what I thought's gonna happen. Uh, Kaylee Gillen, what's up? All right, let me get my first twos. Bacon again, Bacon and Gav. Bacon and Gav. All right, Bacon, you're on fire now. Joseph, uh, you're Joseph 910. Okay, awesome. So Joseph it is, Joseph B it is. Okay, next one, guys, next one. Let's see, let's get the next question. We got like six, like eight, eight or 10 more to go. All right, uh, this is another good one. Okay, here's a good question, guys. Here's a good question. Gotta write it first. What percent of humans are left-handed? Left-handed. What percent of humans are left-handed? What do you guys think? 
Let's do it the same way. I, you know what? I really like the way we do these with the percentages. Um, the per bacon on fire. Yes. What percent of humans is left-handed? Let's do it the same way because I think this is going to be a hard one too. So again, we'll do uh, – this time we'll do one because my sheet is starting to fill up quickly here. We'll do one person. We'll get two points. Um, either way, we're going to give away two points. Either one person gets two points if in the minute they get it exactly or if nobody gets it exactly, we'll give two people one point each. So. All right, we got 10%. What is the answer? I got to look at right here. Okay, there it is. 10%, 10%. What do we got here? 26, 12, 50. What's up, Maya, Philip? Let me put you down. The question, Maya, is how many people, or not how many people, what percent of humans on the earth are left-handed? You're left-handed. That's awesome. Kayla Keelan, follow the host. Thank you so much. All right, we got 12, 50, 5, 10. Not sure that is human anatomy. Well, kind of. You know, oh, Sarah, you're left handed. That's cool. Uh, Sarandra's also left handed. Wow. So we got a lot of left handed people here. Let's give it uh, another 20 seconds, guys. 20 more seconds. And we're going to do the end of the left hand cue. We'll give it 10 more. What do we got? 15 more seconds. 13 seconds. <coughs> we'll see who gets it. I'm starting to think my 10% is wrong. We'll see in a second. We'll see. It's close. I'll tell you this much. It's very close, Bacon. All right. That's the answer. Boom. Uh, the answer, according to my sheet here, is 7%. 7%. So let's see who got 7% here. Did anybody get 7? Does anybody take both points, two points? My, I got you left 16, 12, 5, 17, 12. Nope. Nobody get it. So then two people get it the closest. So who's closest to 7? Let's see. We got a 10 here. Oh, five is only two away. So five is two away. Uh, there's another five there. Um, is there any nines? Because that will also be two away. There are no nines. Okay, so I'm going to give it to the two fives because it's technically only two away from seven. So five is Surendra. And who is my other five here? Just saw another five. Surendra again. So five. So we're going to give one to Surendra. For saying the five. And then after five, it would be, I guess, ten. So my first 10 is bacon. Bacon again. All right, guys, here's the bonus question. What is it called if you can use both hands equally? Well, there's a word for that. What is it called, guys? What is it called? And I don't expect you to, and to spell it correctly. Like as long as I can kind of know what you're talking about, if it's misspelled by one or two letters, in this case, I'm fine. I'm putting that out there. But as long as I kind of know what you're talking about. What is it called, guys, when you have – those of you on TikTok, what is it called when you can use both hands, left hand and right? What is it called? Empedesti. Empedesti sounds pretty close. What do you guys think? Sarah, you're you're that? Ambide the answer is ambidext ambidextrous or ambidextrous, something like that, something close to that. So we have a person who does that. I wonder what percent of people are like that. That must be a – that could be a cool question. <coughs> Point of are, are twins. 3%. Oh, 3%? Really? Wow. I, I didn't know it was that much, actually. That's pretty cool, too. All right, guys. Ambidextrous is what I'm looking for. And let's see who got that. Uh, we got Gavin, Sarah again. Yeah. I wonder what percent of people are ambidextrous. Can somebody look that up? That just might be something we might want to know. Just because, so we just said that, what, 93% of the world is right-handed, 7% is left-handed. And how many people? Oh, it can't be 12%, Joseph. Well, can it be? Well, I guess it could be more than seven, technically. Wait, could it be technically more than seven? How would that be possible, though? Guys, I'm not that good. This, this is like high-tech genius math here. If 93% of people in the world are right-handed, well, then in that case, it's not 93% are right-handed. It can't be 93, because if 93 were right and seven were left, then we're left with zero. So it can't be zero. You know what I mean? Somebody look that up, guys. How many percent of the world is ambidextrous? Yeah, using both hands at the same time, Bethel. That's what it is. Somebody look that up. Joseph says 12. So in that case, it would – oh, somebody says 12 here. Okay. So in that case, it would be 12% ambidextrous, 7% left-handed. So 12 plus 7 is 19. That would leave what? 81% being right-handed, right? My math is correct. So, oh, no. Now you guys say 1% only? Oh, they say 1%. So if 1, so in that case, it would be 7, 1, and 92 or whatever. Okay. All right, we got that. We, we figured that one out, guys, together. We figured that one out. All right, one more question like that, guys. One more, just because these are fun. One more question with the uh, how close can you get, okay? Again, we'll do two points, 
for you know what I'm gonna do actually? Yeah, yeah, let's do two points. Let's do it the same way. If somebody gets it correct, two points for one person, or if nobody gets it exactly on the dot, um, then we'll go um we'll go two people, one point each. Okay, let me write it down first. All right, so the question is, and we'll leave it on there for a minute, is how much blood is in an adult human? How much blood? Like as in like liters, gallons, pints, cups, tablespoons. How much blood? What do you guys think? How much blood does an adult human body have in it? And, and I've got the answer here in gallons or liters, by the way. Uh, well, I kind of just gave you a clue. But I've got the answer here in gallons or liters. So whichever one you guys go with, I'm fine with that. And we got 35 more seconds on this question. And don't just give me guys, yeah, don't just say like one or seven because I don't know. Like Chunky, you just said 1.2 to 1.5, but 1.2 to 1.5, what though? Oh, there you go. Now you said gallons. Okay. What do you guys think? Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah, see, Bacon, you said 199, but 199 what though? You know what I mean? Like that That would be a hard one for me to go with that because I don't know what you mean. Like 199 what? Let's see. Let's see. We got 10 more seconds on this question, guys. Bacon says 1,000 gallons. Oh, my goodness. I don't think it's that much. Six gallons. Hey, I just joined. Jenna Holm. What's up, Jenna? The question is how much blood is in the human body? All right. Blood answer right here is either. Right here. Or. Does that say or? Or. This is what I will take, guys. The answer is either 1.325 gallons or 5 liters. I'll even take 1.3 is close enough. 1.3 or 5. Oh, a lot of people said 5 liters, actually. Oh, wow. So Sarah gets two points because she was first and she got it right on. So Sarah gets two points with 1.5 liters. I mean, uh, 5 liters, I meant to say. Sorry. 5 liters. Can you draw a 3D house? Glue sick. We can try that for sure. Tablespoons, yes. Gab, you never specified our terms of measurement. No, but I know, Gab, I did say specifically you could say it in any way you want because I did say that I have the answer written down here in the liters or gallons. So any one of those I would have taken. I did specify that. All right, that's it. We got that one. We got just a couple more. These are fun, guys. You're learning so much. You're learning so much. 10 units, but what do you mean by units? All right, this is simple, guys. Simple, simple question. Is it possible to sneeze with your eyes open? Is it possible to sneeze with your eyes open? You have a 50-50 chance of getting this one correct. Please, one more question. Yeah, so I got some more, Bethel. I've got uh, one, two, like five more, five more, and then it's and then we and then and then what we do is what's called easy, medium, hard. I give you an easy question, a medium question, and a hard question. Yes or no? It's simple, guys. When Sarah. I knew that because I lost ooh, three liters of blood. That's a, that's a big loss. You lose three. Wait, you lost three liters? How is that possible? That's possible? If you only have five, that's 50% of the blood in your body? Oh, my goodness. I have my youngest kid. Wow, that's crazy. I never knew that. I thought you lose like a half a liter. Wow. So you only have five liters. Wow, that's insane. Wow, that's crazy. That is insane. All right, guys, what was the question? The question was, can you sneeze with your eyes open? The answer is no. The answer is no. The official body guide here that I found says no. It's not possible. So Sarah and Joe Moon. Sarah and Joe Moon said no. 10, 18%, 35% of people can only sneeze with their eyes open. Yeah, the answer here says no. So we're going to go with no. <laughs> All right. Here's the next question, guys. This is another cool question. Another really cool question. Yes, that's what it says on my sheet here, guys. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, Michelle K., what's up, Michelle? Let me put you down. All right, we'll give this next one because I think this next one can be pretty easy if you think about it. You have to kind of think about it, what's called like an educated guess if you think about it. But and but in another way, it's kind of a hard question. So let me see. So hold somebody just said here. Art and Craft. What's up, Art and Craft? I'll put you down. All right, here's the next question, guys. Uh, let me write it down here. What is the only organ, or how does it say here? Internal organ, internal, okay? So I'll give you guys a clue. The skin does not count because your skin is an external organ. 
what is the only internal organ, okay, of a human that can regenerate itself? Regenerate means like for another word for regrow. What is the only internal organ that can regenerate itself? I think that's a pretty cool question. Jason Bain, what's up, buddy? Jason, haven't seen you for a long time. Jason, you were the first one, by the way, with the correct answer. Now, if you would have been on my TikTok, on my YouTube, you would have been getting some big time points right here. So, Jason, come on over to the YouTube. We are live simultaneously. All right, what do you guys think? Let's see what we got. We got liver. We got small intestine, long intestine, teeth, brain, stomach, liver, heart. Oh, a lot of good answers. Oh, a lot of livers here, too. A lot of livers here. Speaking of livers, guys, who likes to eat liver? Do you guys like to eat liver? Um, I don't like it too much because it's not good for me because it's a lot of uh, a lot of iron, but it does taste pretty good. You guys eat liver, Sarah. You guys have that. You're in Scotland, don't you guys have like that liver meal? What's that thing called where you you put the like liver stuff? What is that called in in Scotland that they? Oh, you're vegetarian, so you don't eat liver. Hearts, yes, I've eaten hearts before too. Um, I grew up like very strict Polish, uh, and we you can you can ask Victoria. And, and uh, Nicola, if this is true, but Polish people eat that kind of weird stuff, like the livers and hearts and brains. My grandma used to make us brains and scrambled eggs for breakfast, like when I was like seven. Like you take like cow brain and chop it up, put it with eggs, and you make like scrambled eggs with brain. So we used to eat that all the time. Haggis, that's what I'm thinking about. Do you like haggis? Yes, haggis is exactly what I was thinking about. Unicorn, what's up, Unicorn. Hold on, I gotta see what people said. Um, if they eat liver, joking by the way, Jason. I didn't see you there, Jason. What you said, I must have missed it. I prefer lungs, very tasty. I'm sure people eat lungs too. I'm sure they eat lungs too. Alicia's world, what's up, Alicia? All right, let me see who got my answer to the what was the question even? Oh, the answer, the answer is liver, by the way. The answer is liver, by the way. <laughs> the only internal organ that can regenerate itself, um, HVG, what's up? Thank you, um, is your liver, is your liver. Total drama and, let me see, total drama got it first. Rib cage, liver, and Sarah. Liver and onions, right? Liver and onions, that's what people eat. Uh, it's called haggis. I got that. Liver's good, said Surrendra. Yeah, liver is pretty good. If your dad will eat anything. Yeah, liver, believe it or not, liver does taste pretty good. It's kind of got like this, like you never ate it. It's not like you would think, you know, sometimes you think like certain parts, uh, certain things that you eat can be, uh, Bailey says, I can't type on YouTube. So can you put me down? Not going to answer anyway. Bailey, I can put you down. Yes, that is an excuse that I can take. Bailey, I got you. Uh, no worries. I got you, Bailey. You are number 53. Yeah, certain parts of like when you eat like veins and stuff, it's really like chewing and stuff. Um, but liver is actually quite like chalky and it breaks up very well. It actually tastes pretty good. So now let's see, Victoria, my dad would eat that. Yeah, I'm sure he has. There you are, Jason. I got you, Jason B. All right. Thanks for coming in over here. Touchy subject for me about liver right now. This is my – yeah, okay, we won't talk livers anymore. I understand. I understand. I commented liver first, but it got taken off. What do you mean? Why would it get taken off? What the heck is that all about? Uh, let's see, Jason, I got it right. Yes, but you got to be, that's why I'm giving a point to Jason because he just came over to the YouTube. All right, guys, we got the liver question. That's it. We got just a couple more. We're almost done here, guys. couple more. Okay, we did that one. We did that one. Okay, this is a good question, guys. Uh, I want this question, guys. Love your art. Thank you, Snow Queen. Guys, I want this question in an emoji format, guys. What are the name of the bones around your chest that protect your organs? Bones are in your chest. What are the name of the bones in your chest that protect your organs? Guad Guadita73, thank you so much. What are they, guys? I need the answer. Elizabeth T., I, I see you guys there. Uh, you'll leave. Glue stick, why are you leaving? What happened? Under your bed. <laughs> What's up, glue stick? Why are you leaving? What's, ribs is the correct answer, guys. Yes, but I need the emoji. There is no rib emoji. Yes, there is. There's a rib emoji. Uh, what did I just see right here? Elizabeth T. My emoji don't work on here either. Oh, my goodness. Why? What is wrong with the emoji? Guys, the emojis are kind of crazy lately. I don't know what it is with the emojis, why they're not working. Um, so I'll give it to uh, – let me give it to two people that said ribs and two people that have it. Yes, Adifun. I do remember that name. See, I when it said under your bed, I didn't remember that. But now that you said Adifun, I do remember that. I do remember that name. So welcome back. That's awesome. 
All right, I'm going to give it to two people who said ribs. Two people had the rib emoji because for some reason the rib emoji, I guess, is not nice either. Elizabeth T, I got you. So total drama and bacon. Let me give it to you two. Total drama and bacon got ribs correctly. And then um, Victoria and Nicola had the uh, rib. Victoria and Nicola had the rib uh, emoji. So that's what we're going to go with, guys. Uh, I found it. Yeah, there it is. See? Uh, who is that? Uh, Tony on. T-O-N-N-I-A-N. I got you, Tony. On. Those of you, by the way, if you're new, make sure you're hitting subscribe. All right. I think we got like three more questions and we're done, guys. Next question is, what is the name of the two holes in your nose? What is the name of the two holes in your nose? What's your channel name? MGC. Same thing exactly as my TikTok. So if you look up here on TikTok, you see how it says Pokey Gems. What is that right there, by the way? Oh, okay. How it says Pokey Gems. So search the same thing exactly on YouTube and it comes right up. Same logo. It's like that red diamond right there. Same logo. And then the first video you see will, will be the live stream. So come in and say, hey, I'm here. And you get a point just for coming. And you've got to come over right now because in less than 10 minutes, we're going to do the spin. Um, and you've got to have at least one question behind you in order to be in the spin. So we'll, we'll do that. Your nose is called a vomer. Fun fact. Oh, that's cool. The answer is your nostrils. Your nostrils. Nasal septum. Oh, that must be like super like doctory term. But no, I was looking for nostrils. Michelle K and Gav. All right, guys. How about the nose emoji? Is there a nose emoji? Let's give it to two nose emojis. Is there a nose emoji, guys? Do we have a nose emoji? We got this one. We got this one. <coughs> All right, guys. Is there a – okay, Fidget got it. Leela got it. User 504 got it. Leela got it again. All right. Guys, you got to come over to the YouTube channel if you want to play. All right, Michelle and Gav. Oh, same two people, Michelle and Gav. All right, guys, here's another awesome fun fact. This is kind of cool. If you turn on TikTok and you go on the spinner wheel, does it count if you're on TikTok? Well, yes and no. It does count. There are like two or three people because they're not able to go over to YouTube. Um, I'm not allowed on YouTube. Leela, okay, I was just going to say just for that reason. So I've got a couple people. Leela, I just put you down. So a couple people that it will count for. How much longer you need to go to sleep? Um, easy, medium, hard is coming up. And we'll do an impossible. I like the impossible. Uh, like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We're almost done. All right, guys. Here's another cool question. And this is a really cool fun fact. I like literally learned so much by doing these questions today, guys. Super easy, guys. Super easy question. True or false? Your ears are important when it comes to staying balanced. When it comes to staying balanced. Do your ears have to do anything have anything to do with your balance? True or false? No YouTube for me. It won't let me join your channel on YouTube. MGC, of course it will. It's wide open. There's no restrictions on there. You might be on the wrong one, but uh, it's Pokey Gems. Same thing as up here. You'll see the red diamond. It, it'll be right there. And then you hit subscribe and then join the first video there. Try it again. It's there for 100%. True or false? What do you guys think? <coughs> Believe it or not, guys, this answer is true. And actually, in, in like the extra information about the fun fact, it says that your ears actually play one of the most important roles in being in, in balance as you're walking to be able to walk straight. Isn't that crazy? It says that my internet is so bad for YouTube. Let me go on TikTok. Bailey, I understand. That's okay. Why are you so good at art, Snow Queen? Just practice, I guess. Just a lot of practice. True. So my first two truths. Our Victoria and Total Drama. All right, how many? I think we got like one more and we're almost done. We did that one, this one. Oh, that's it. That's all of them. Hold on. Okay, let's do a hard question. I am literally done. This is the last question. Now we're going to go to the official easy, medium, hard. But let me do one more last question of the official body questions. And I'm going to throw the sheet out because that was today's uh, contest. So I'm going to give the... First person, two points that gets this. And let me put this out there right now. It must be spelled correctly. Must be spelled correctly. First person will get two points. Second person will get one point. Okay. Let me write it down here. What is the official name of the outside layer of your skin? Outside layer of your skin. 
What is it called, guys? Outside layer of your skin. Joseph, I see you there. You got it. Hi, I'm Bethel Bella from TikTok. I see you there, Bella. I'll put you down. Bella number 68. So you get one drawing, just, just one point just for coming in. Sorry, can be on YouTube. User epidermis is correct. User 504. Yes, epidermis. And it's spelled E-P-I-D-E-R. So like spider. Like spider with an E, right? S-P-I. Yeah, like spider with an E and then miss. All right, let's see who got it. Epidermis, Sarah, two points, and Jason. Did I say two points each? I think I said two points each. I can't remember. I'll give you two points each. And Jason. I, I forgot what I said, but if I didn't say it, well, you just got two points each. So, Epidermis, how did I know that? That's good. That's awesome that you knew that. Yes, the outer layer is called. Look at that. Most of you guys knew this. You don't have an account on your phone. Oh, my goodness. You got to quickly make an account. All right. Easy, medium, hard. All right. We are done with – actually, no. Maybe I'll do one of the hard questions off of here. That's what I'll do. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do the hard question off of the body challenge because that's what today's topic is. Easy will be easy. Medium will be the math question. Hard will be from there. And then we'll do what uh, Bacon calls the impossible question. I'm good. Be Baku. I'm good, Baku. Come on over to YouTube. All right, easy question, guys. Easy question is let me let's take the easy question from Disney. You guys all like Disney, right? Let's do the easy question from Disney. Easy question from Disney is let me find it here, guys. Easy question from Disney. Name three of the seven dwarfs from Snow White. Probably misspelled dwarfs, but it's okay. Maybe I didn't. Name three, three of the seven dwarfs from Snow White. Any three of seven. Three of seven. And we're going to give it to five people here. Five people. Any three of seven, guys. Three of seven. Any three of seven. Sleeping, sleeping, happy, crumpy. <laughs> User, you type real faster. I never watched Snow White. That's okay. Sleep, drowsy, grumpy. No, I don't think there's a drowsy, is there? I don't think there's a drowsy, is there? No, there's no drowsy. <laughs> there's sleepy. There's sleepy is correct. There's no drowsy. Guys, we got a lot of cool, quite, a lot of good answers on TikTok. A lot of funny ones too. Don't remember. That's okay. Think about it, guys. Three of There's only three of seven. That's less than 50% I'm asking for. Thank you, Jenna Holm. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Bashful is a good answer. Yes, Bashful is one of them. What do we got here, guys? Mickey, what's Mickey seven? What the heck is that all about? Gav says, nah, happy, doc, sleeping. Okay, the answers are doc, grumpy, happy, sleepy, bashful, sneezy, and dopey. All right, what do we got here? Sarah, uh, sneezy, doc, and grumpy. So Sarah will be number one. Uh, Sarah will be number one. Sleepy, dopey, Michelle K will be number two. Uh, what else we got here? Surendra is number three. Uh, I'll give it to one person, by the way, from TikTok in a second. Hold on. Surendra, Joe Moon, Sleepy, Doc, and Grumpy. Joe Moon is number four. And then Total Drama, Grouchy. There's no Grouchy. Did I say Grouchy? No, there's no Grouchy. Grumpy. Grumpy, not Grouchy, Total Drama. Sleepy, Doc, and Grumpy, and Bacon. So Bacon, you get that point because there is no Grouchy. <clears throat> All right, let's see who was first over here. I subscribe, but it won't let me comment on your videos. MG, so you might have something turned off on your end. I have no I have no um, restrictions on my end that I'm not allowing you to comment or something. You know what I mean? Um, so you got to look on your end. There must be something on your end. No drowsy, sleepy, happy, grumpy, under. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's close enough. So we'll go under your bed. We'll give you a point. Under bed. All right. Uh, okay, we got it. I never watched Snow White. That's okay. All right, Gav says, Joseph, nobody has been picked yet. Uh, okay, that is the easy question. Medium question, guys, is a math question. Remember how the math works. All you need to do is follow along in your head, okay? Don't have to give me the answer till the end. So follow along in your head, okay? Do this in your head, and then at the end, you're going to give me the answer. Again, first five people. All right, what is 70 divided by 2 is a two-digit number. Take those two digits and multiply them by themselves. And again, you get a two-digit number. Take the larger number and subtract the smaller one from it, 
and you get a number. Multiply that number by itself, and again, you get a two-digit number. Take that two-digit number and subtract the smaller one from the larger one. What do you get? What is the answer? Just, just a number. No emojis. Just a number. What do you get? First five people, what do you get? 35 is not the right answer, by the way. What do you guys What do you guys think? What do you get? What is the answer? I don't remember one single number you said. Well, a lot of people heard it, though. A lot of people heard it because I see a lot of fives there. And five is correct. Zaza, what's up? Five is the correct answer. So five people will get five. Michelle K was first. Uh, Victoria was second. Victoria, Nicola was number three. Uh, let's see who's here. Uh, Surendra said five. Uh, Surendra said five. Total Drama said six. That is not correct. Sarah said five. That's my fifth person. All right, that's it for medium. Now we do hard and impossible. Hard, let's do a hard one. Let's find a hard one here, guys. Hard one from my body challenge here. We find something that's hard, but not like crazy. You know what I mean? Mm, maybe not. These are kind of like not really good questions. Let's not do that. Okay, let's do a different hard one. Hold on. We'll do a hard one from the Disney, guys. It's a hard one from Disney. Well, no, actually, no. Let me do it even differently. Hard one from my random book here. How about that? Hard one from my random book here, because not everybody's a Disney person. Hard one from my random book. All right, guys. It is... What is the capital of Kenya? That is the hard question. What is the capital of Kenya? Oh, uh, body emojis? Yeah, we'll throw in some body emojis. I like that. What is the capital of Kenya? And we're going to do an impossible one too. What is the capital? Lila says Nairobi. You're first. Let me put you down for that, Lila. Lila, you're first with Nairobi. Nairobi is the answer. Let's give it to four more over here. Total Drama was first over here. Total Drama was my first Nairobi. Let me see if there's anybody before. No, there isn't. Nash, Nairobi. Nash is actually from Kenya, right? So, of course, you would know that. Uh, Nash, Michelle is number three. Gav said Nairobi, number four, and my fifth Nairobi is April. Misspelled a little, but I know what you meant. All right, guys, here is the impossible question. It's not really impossible. It's one that's going to be kind of a two-part question, <clears throat> and you're going to kind of have to think about it. And I will give this one to five people. You're going to have to kind of think about this one, okay? Don't start spamming the answers, guys, until you hear the whole question, because at, towards the end of the question, there's be something that's going to change your mind. So... Don't start spamming till you hear the whole thing. All right, now listen carefully. In the beginning, when we just started this quiz, we talked about the smallest bone in your body. Think about, we also talked about where on your body is that smallest bone located. Think about the organ that contains that smallest bone. That organ is on your body. Take that part of your body. It's made up of letters. Spell that out for yourself and give me three emojis, three food emojis that represent the first letter of the answer. So for example, if the answer is, let's say, heart, a food emoji that starts with H, a food emoji that starts with E, a food emoji that starts with A, so on and so forth. So, so I know it's kind of confusing, but you got to think about that. What is the answer to where is the smallest bone in your body located? Where is that bone located? And give me food emojis that spell out the first letter of each one of the letters. We'll see if anybody if anybody understood what I meant. I know it sounded confusing. It actually sounded confusing to me, honestly. But I think that I think somebody understood because um, Nicola was first and she got it correct. <coughs> All right, Nicola got it correct. So I must have said something correct here. I couldn't get into the manifest, but I watch into the night. Not sure what you mean by that, Gav. All right, so here's the way the question should have been understood. And I'll, and I'll give you the answer, guys. The smallest bone in your body is located in your ear. Ear is spelled E-A-R. So I need three food emojis, a food emoji that starts with E, a food emoji that starts with A, and a food emoji that starts with R. 
So E A R. So let me let me go through this, guys, and let's get five people. Make sure it's correct. All right, we got egg. Uh, what is that thing? Avocado and rice. E A R. Okay, so Nicola was first. All right, we got egg, apple, rice. Victoria was second, and then we got E eggplant, A apple, and ribs. Michelle, nice. Two more. Two more. Uh, we got egg, apple, rice. Sarah. And one last one is Total Drama said, what is that thing? E oh, and for egg roll. Oh, I like that. Egg roll. Oh, you misspelled it. That's E, E, E. That's three E's. So that's wrong, Total Drama. Uh, and Unicorn gets it. Unicorn is my last one. Yes, that's it. That's everybody. Uh, who else? Did I miss somebody? Tony and I got you. I don't think I put you down. So I got to put you down, To. How do you spell that? T-Tonian. I don't think I put you down, so I put you down. All right, 95 today, guys. That's it. So we're going to pick three people. So those of you who are new, here's how it's going to work. We got 95 people on the list, so we're going to pick three people of the 95, and we'll see who gets it, guys, all right? Three people. And, and if I say a name and you're not here, we keep going because you got to be here to win. And then those three people are going to get to spin the wheel, and I'll talk to you about the wheel in a second. So let me pull it up here really quickly first. Random picker. We got 95 today, guys. 95. All right, here we go. Why is my random picker wheel not coming up? Something's wrong with my picker wheel, guys. Hold on. My picker wheel isn't working. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, here we go. First person. Catherine White. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. That doesn't count. Um, wait, does it? Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, I, I have the answer right here. I have 76. But Catherine White, the reason, according to the rules, you were not here for any of the questions. Is that correct? Because remember, we made a new rule. Jack, same thing with you. Oh, my goodness. So we got two people that just showed up, but they were not here for any of the questions. Colin, Aborigine, and Eggplant. Um, their people are late. That's what I thought. Yes, so we cannot add you. I just couldn't remember if they were maybe here earlier, but they were not here for any. So 76, that is the rule. You got to be here for at least one. Joe Moon is the first person right here. Joe Moon is the first person. That is number one. Joe, as long as you are here, <coughs> you didn't show us the wheel. Bailey, you got to wait a second. I got to first pick the three people, and then I'll show you the wheel. I got then I put hola al cien adla en español. No español, un poquito, por favor. Uh, Joe Moon, are you here? Is that what it was? Was it Joe Moon, right? Is that what I said? Yes, I said Joe Moon. Why do you call it eggplant? I don't understand. Oh, that that um, vegetable, the purple one? Yeah, it's called eggplant. I have no clue why it's called eggplant. It has nothing to do with eggs, but it is called an eggplant. You guys call it an aborgine. Aubergine. Oh, you call it an aubergine? I never heard that. You know what? I've never heard that in my life. Wow, that's crazy. Michelle K. Pokey, did you read my email? You know what? I did not. Let me read it again. I'll look at it today for sure. I promise to look at it today because I'll be getting stuff ready for tomorrow and stuff. So I promise to look at it for today. Uh, Joe Moon, there you are. Okay. All right. Number two, guys. Can you be moderator? I can make you moderator right now for sure. There you go. You're a moderator. You are a moderator. Uh, number 83, can you do a Disney tomorrow? Uh, I'm, I've got something else in mind for tomorrow, something pretty fun. We could do some Disney possibly on Friday for Friday Fun Day, but I've got something pretty fun in mind for tomorrow. 83, 83. Yeah. So those of you, by the way, that are, are here, come back tomorrow. I've got something pretty fun in mind for tomorrow. So. Uh, we will have a live tomorrow, unless something crazy happens, like my liver falls out or something. But, yes, we will have a live tomorrow. 83 is Sarah W. 83 is Sarah W. Right there. Bailey, I see you there, Bailey, but I got to pick your number. You got to wait. I'm picking the numbers right now. So we'll see if your number picks it. Alicia's World, tomorrow's – yes, tomorrow's Thursday. That's why I'm saying that. Tomorrow I have something else planned, and then because somebody April wanted Disney, so I said for Friday Fun Day, because Friday Fun Day is usually like a day where we do questions from all over the place. So I'll definitely add some um, 
add some Disney for Friday. But tomorrow's topic is something completely different. I have something, something fun in mind for tomorrow. Where's Sarah? Is Sarah here? I think Sarah left. Did Sarah leave? Sarah, dude, don't talk about liver. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Don't talk about liver. Yes. <laughs> Your liver. Yes. Sarah is still here, of course. All right. Last person, guys, for today is... Bacon, you were 84? Oh, my goodness, Bacon. Are you serious? <laughs> were you really? No, you weren't. Lila was 84. Number 15. Number 15 is April B. April that talked about doing um, – I probably have the record of – no, you weren't one away on that one, Bacon. Uh, April B is 15. No, you weren't one away. Let me see. Because the, our first winner was 76, Joe Moon. It's Seren Oh, you were 77, Bacon, right below it. You were one away. Yes, you were one away. You were one away. April B, are you still here? There you are. All right. And I, if I remember correctly, April B, weren't you the one that yesterday, I think, yesterday, the day, not yesterday, we didn't do it yesterday, the day before said, I never win, I never win. Well, there you go. You won. So, Joe Moon, you're already on the board with two points. So we're going to add to that. Sarah's on the board with two points. We're going to add to that. And April is not on the board, so April will be a new person. So here is how the uh, spinner wheel works. Those of you who are brand new. So here's the wheel right here. So those three people are going to get the spin today. And then depending on what you land on, you get points. And then you, for these points, you can buy gift cards or win gift cards from me. So, all right, Joe Moon, here's yours. 77 is unlucky. Oh, my goodness. All right, Joe. Oh, I, I didn't want to talk for a second. I'm like, maybe it'll bounce back to the four. But, no, it landed straight on the one there. So, Joe Moon is one. All right, Sarah W. Sarah W, that is a one. Oh, is it all ones? The wheel is not The wheel is not giving away a lot of points today. The wheel said I gave away so many points the other day that I got to relax today. And April B. April, oh, one plus one. So you know what that means, April. That means that you get one point and you get to nominate or choose any one person that is here that you would like, and that person gets to be on the board with one point. Um, yeah, so any person <coughs> you'd like to nominate to put onto the board, what do you think, April? Who would you like? So April is going to give us – Michelle says she never wins. No, everybody gets a chance to win. Anybody who's here, all right, who do you think? Anybody you would like. Who would you like, April? One plus one. One plus one, April. Let's see what April says. Pokey, can can you pick? Okay, so I'll pick. No problem. So here's the way I'm going to do it. Here's the way I'm going to do it. I appreciate that you said that because I have a cool idea in mind. I'm going to pull out the random number generator again. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick someone who is not on the board. So I'm going to do the random number generator just so we make it easy. Random number generator. It's going to pick one person. And if that person is someone who's already on the board, we'll keep doing it until it's a brand new person that is not Bacon, Alex, Thomas, Big Chuck, Jack R, Joe Moon, White Sister, Surendra, Sarah W, or April B. Okay? That's what we'll do it. I have to go. No worries. Thank you. Okay? So that's how we're going to do it. So here we go. So next person on the board is... Well, it can't be Bacon because Bacon's already on the board. So it can't be Bacon. Fix Bacon we keep going. Number 57, 57. Look who 57 is. Oh, my goodness. Guys, if I tried, I couldn't make this stuff up. 57 is bacon. Didn't I just say that? I'm like, oh, if, if it picks bacon, he's already on the board. Like, what's the chance of this stuff happening, bacon? Bacon, me and you have got something here. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. So it doesn't count bacon. Sorry. They don't all say bacon because it picked bacon. See, all of you guys said bacon. It picked bacon, but it can't be bacon. It said it's got to be somebody new, and bacon's already up there. So we got to do it again. Poor bacon. Yes, I'm telling you. Here we go. Watch it picks bacon again. Guys, if it picks bacon again, it's going to be crazy. That's, like, not even funny. Number six. Who's number six? Guys, I swear to you, if I wanted to, I couldn't make this stuff up. I literally could not make this up. I couldn't. If I tried, I couldn't make it up. It's bacon again. Yes. And bacon, you don't get any of these. Oh, my goodness. Bacon, what is happening? 
<laughs> Poor bacon. Well, no, it's good. It's good because you're getting picked. Oh my no! Come on, I, I, bacon. If I tried, I couldn't make this up. This is talk to Google. Who's the owner of Google? There's some Russian guy, right? It's me again. Yes, he deserves. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. It's not a point. It's somebody new. Let's do it again, guys. What's a what's a how about this? Bacon, how about this? I I, I give a deal for you because that's just something. Oh my goodness, that's just insane. If it hits bacon again, bacon, I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna give you five points just because. Just because what's the chance of hitting somebody three times? If it hits bacon, I'm giving you five points. We're still gonna pick another person, but I'm giving you five points just because. All right, here we go. If it hits bacon again, I'm giving him five points just because, just because I can. Number 19. Number it did not hit bacon. Bacon, it did not hit you. Uh, number 19 is Nicola, and I don't think Nicola's on the board. Yes, Nicola is not on the board, so Nicola will be on the board. There's Nicola right there, number 19. So it'll be Nicola. Nicola is on the board. If it hit bacon, I, I'd, give a, I'd give you five points. Watch if not pick me this time. Watch, yeah, it did not pick you this time, bacon. It did not. It was number 19, which is Nicola. So that was funny. Guys, that's the whole point of this. We have fun. Oh, there you are, Bella. It worked. All right, Ambrosia Bella. There you are. It worked. So you were able to get on. So we are done here for today. So make sure you hit subscribe. That way you get a notification for tomorrow. And we'll be back tomorrow, same time. Congratulations. I got to sleep from my med test. Yeah, good luck on your test tomorrow. Once you did get it three times. I think you did. Yes, Victoria. I think you were the only one that ever got it three times in a row. Guys, this was fun. The whole point of this is to have fun. Good, what do we call it? Good vibes. Good vibes only. There we go. I almost forgot my own motto. Good vibes only, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you guys tomorrow, guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. Guys, those of you on TikTok also.